Welcome to Philosophy and Critical Thinking, The Basics. In our last video, we talked about what made arguments sound and unsound. In this video, we're going to be talking about where arguments can go wrong, and two specific ways they can go wrong, which is circular reasoning and begging the question. When an argument goes wrong in a specific kind of way, we call it a fallacy. Uh, a fallacy means just a fault in the reasoning. So um, whenever there's something that's gone wrong in an argument specific to making the argument invalid, this is called a fallacy. If you do an internet search of fallacies, you can find hundreds of them. In many cases, you don't really need to know what kind of fallacy it is. If you can see for yourself whether an argument is invalid by just thinking about it, you don't really need to know the names of these things. However, the two fallacies we'll be covering, covering today, it, it's not obvious that um, there's a fault in the reasoning by checking that it's invalid or checking that the premise is false. So these need to be gone over in a bit more detail. So let's take a look at this argument here. The earth is round because the earth is round. So when we put it in standard form, premise one, the earth is round. Therefore, conclusion number two, the earth is round. Now, if we check that it's valid, if it's the case that the earth is round, it has to be the case that the earth is round. So it's valid. The premise, the earth is round, is true. The earth is round. So we've got a, premise, a true premise and we have a valid argument. So it's a sound argument. But there's something wrong with the argument. What's wrong with the argument? is that the premise we give is exactly the same as the conclusion. What we call this is circular reasoning, because the premise that we're giving to uh, argue for our conclusion is the very thing we're trying to argue for. So if you tried to do this in real time, it would go in a circle. The earth is round, why? Because the earth is round. Why? Because the earth is round, and so on. So this is a fallacy called circular reasoning. So to avoid circular reasoning, when you're giving an argument, none of the premises can be the same as the conclusion. So you can't have a single premise in the argument which is the same as the conclusion. As long as you uh, stick to that, your argument will not be circular. The amount of times you will come across a circular argument is normally pretty rare. Uh, when someone would explicitly argue that way, normally they're not really trying to give you a reason. They're normally just telling you it's just that way and just telling you not to argue about it. Um, so more common is a very close version of um, circular reasoning called begging the question. When you hear the term begging the question in common language, you normally hear it from like a journalist where they may say something like, um, okay, given light of this, this begs the question, yada, yada, yada. Um, what's really meant in that is raising the question. Um, begging the question means something very specific in philosophy. And begging the question is when you give a premise for an argument that you would only accept if you already accepted the conclusion. So, uh, so the begging the question is a premise that you'll only accept as true if you already accepted the conclusion to be true. So it's very close to circular reasoning. Some philosophers will argue that they're the same thing. Um, I think there is a uh, small difference here where um, it needs to be highlighted. So do you see the difference between begging the question and a classical circular argument? We uh, should take a look at these two arguments here. First argument here, we should trust what la that Larry is telling the truth because Larry wouldn't lie. So our premise here is that Larry wouldn't lie. And our conclusion is that Larry is telling the truth. If we were to accept the premise, Larry wouldn't lie, we will be already accepting the conclusion that Larry is telling the truth. Because if we are believing that Larry wouldn't lie, we would have to believe that Larry is telling the truth, even though uh, the premise and the conclusion isn't exactly the same. Now let's look at the uh, second argument here. You can't make me work late, because you can't. So 
If you put this into standard form, it would translate to, you can't make me work late because you can't make me work late. And so as you can tell, it's exactly the same. So in the first argument, it's begging the question because even though the premise and the conclusion isn't exactly the same, you would only accept the premise if you already accepted the conclusion. And the second argument, the premise is exactly the same as the conclusion. They uh, have the same problem where you would already have to accept the conclusion in order to accept the premise, but there is that subtle di di difference, which I believe was worth highlighting. So if you want more information, uh, you can go onto the website www.philosophycriticalthinking.com and uh, you can test out some of the test questions there or have a read over that in a bit more detail. Or you can purchase the book Understanding Arguments by Walter St. Armstrong and Robert Fogelin, which will be in the description um, or on the website. Our next video is going to involve arguments that have conditionals. So we're going to go over what conditionals are. Um, if you want to stay tuned for those tutorials, uh, please subscribe and click the bell. Thanks.